It's that Friday feeling. Oh yeah, we've made it again another week and we are back to the weekend. Almost, it's a Friday, but it's still that Friday feeling. And the Friday feeling is gonna be another video about the old crow to continue building. <laughs> Let's get on with it. He's back again, oh yes he is, it's a Friday at Dad's RC Hangar. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so happy, I really don't, because it's uh, it's still locked down, 2020, April, and we've just been told that we've got to be locked down for another three weeks. In the UK that is, but hey, we're cracking on, and why get down when we've got this beautiful, beautiful plains to look at? So... Let's just forget about all the lockdown. Let's forget about that it's actually raining outside, as you can probably hear now and then the pitter patter of the lovely sounding rain, which is a lovely sound. Let's have a look to see what I've been playing about with. Obviously, you can see my little uh, wonky hatch uh, open. I kind of like it open, you know, but whatever. So, in here, what do we do? I add, add, yes, I attached the lipo sensor, which you know I always like to add to my planes for the telemetry, which sits lovely there. Um, so, that connects to the battery. Um, and so does obviously that's the main part of the battery which then tells me how many uh, how many what the uh, what am I talking about how <laughs> each cell <laughs> that's, that's what I meant to say um, uh, it, what's the voltage of each cell so, so it's also good when you land and you can just see make sure that everything's all funky dory so that's a nice lay at the bay for that um, we'll go on to the Mr. RC sound in a minute um, what else did I do? Yes, I've been more 3D printing. So if I squeeze that, there is my little servo cover. And I made it a, about a millimetre or so each side, a bit thicker, so it holds itself. So you just squeeze it, as you can see, squeezy, squeezy, lemon squeezy, <laughs> and it will go on there. Now, if you go inside, inside, you see that I've changed to an Allen key screw, which you like a bolt, a screw bolt. A bolt, yes, Allen bolt, and it with a little rubber, um, rubber O-ring. Um, I prefer. I don't know why they don't do this because if the screwdriver, you can sometimes slip, and you're not getting the bite that you want. Where when you've got a solid connection of an Allen Allen bolt or Allen head, it's a nice fit. So because we're going to be putting the towel section on today, um, I did move these back. Um, I did play about, sorry, um, and that's about as far as they go out, which is good. Because I was, a bit, if you remember, I was worried that it would be stabbing that. Um, and then you've got a fat side on the thin side, so squeezy, squeezy. There you go. A nice little cover for the servo, so then all the cables will be sitting on there. Um, lovely, lovely. Um, as I say, I've had all this out, so we'll talk about the sound system in a minute. So if you are joined to the forum, um, which I will put a link again today. Um, in fact, let's put a link right now. Bush and bash um, <laughs> i'll put it in the in the end of this as well um, it, it's nice because you know i get to talk to you guys and girls which is really cool um you know it's a, it's an early days thing um you know but it's just nice sometimes to, to ask the question and uh i believe it was william it was william william ross hi there welcome to the forum he asked me what was going on with the um mr rc sound RC sound. Um, well, you know, I try, you know, I spoke to them. They did get back to me. Uh, read the full uh, email response. Um, but basically, I haven't heard from them since now. Now, um, right? Okay. Now, get out of here. Okay. So, what we're we doing today? Today we're putting the wing section on. So I'm going to sort of come out a bit longer. And what we're going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to get around the other side. I think. I'm hoping that you can. See is there he is. Hello there. Right, so I can't see. I need to do the setup now. I have all. Oh, I've been looking at uh, uh, streaming, live streaming, and I've got some software that I'm playing about with. Um, so, but also I, I need to get a screen hooked on so I can actually see if you're seeing me without trying to look oh, over there on the little camera thing. I'm going to show you a box actually. I'm going to bring that round. This is my little box. I got this from. I think uh, wheels or something. I can't remember what in in the UK. It's just a, a shop, and this is my little box. And I'm trying to, now classic. I, I'm trying to show you a uh, tip it, and it tips all over. So here, and these actually fit the servo. So they're different types of Allen key heads. This is my little rubber things, 
Uh, I believe this is like for a, you know, if you've got a car, I think this is sort of generic and split pins and bits and pieces like that. But these actually fit the servos, um, which is great because then uh, I've got enough to change all the servos if I want to. Um, it's just, you know, especially the uh, ailerons. Um, in fact, I don't need to, I, I could be around here. It's just you're not going to see me. And I like to see you. I like to see you. Not that I can see you, but you know what I mean. Good to have you here. So also there is some more, more ladies and gents running to join up and subscribe to this fantastic RC crazy channel. <laughs> um, um, well, I hope it is anyway. Um, well, yeah, welcome. Hi. Thanks for subscribing. It means the world to me. It really, really does. Um, it's, uh, it's nice and hopefully you'll join the live stream. Um, live stream will be announced on the forum and I've got a feeling that it will be uh, next week. I'm going to go for broke. Um, so this being um, April 2020, um, what's the date today? The date today is the 17th, so work out what Wednesday is and that will probably be the live. So, look at back to the tail section. Let's get, let's build planes. Let's build planes. Now, I, I have looked for, as I say, the, the actual book itself is not that great. It goes really into detail about the plane and the, how, you know, how, uh, how servos are built and it is pretty cool but yeah that's about it but now what does concern me is that the wings if I can zoom into that the wings are screws now you get, keep screwing in if you keep taking the wings off that is going to become loose now I haven't seen actually what they it's plastic it is plastic that it screws into um, if I can move forward or back where am I going here we go so here um, here it's screwing into plastic so it's making its own thread into the plastic I don't know if I like that um, what I could use I could use my threading tool um, so I would have a look at that it's, it's like it's really annoying me I think what I'd have to do is pause the video and use the threading tool or something because uh, each time I look at the plane it's something I want to do and because I rub it on it's another video and you know, I know you put guys and girls just want to see this built as I do, but uh, let's let's get jiggy with it. So, let me pause there and skip my if I'm going to be here because it's I can see better, I think. And back in the room, in fact, I was just uh, saying back in the room, I forgot to move this a bit. So, uh, there we go, right? So, I'm all a bit personal and close and everything else, right? Let's uh, let's get my little pliers. So the the wing the the tail horizontal stabilizer, whatever you like to call it, all sits on four screws that are this small. Okay. Okay, and that is your uh, ten. I believe it's ten mil. Ten mil length. Yes, it's ten mil length. What it's you can see the actual drawings here. If I if I zoom into this, it's very. I don't know if it's a a printing floor. But it's really kind of hard to see what's going on. But it does say that we get our elevators. And uh, yeah, elevators. And our elevators will, this hole here, will align up with that hole there. Um, so that looks, that's aligned there. It doesn't look, look, look like it's going to fit. It looks a bit weird. But uh, it doesn't say anything about gluing. Um, so we'll just keep, as I say, these are not big screws. And this is a lot of... Uh, a lot of forces on this, so I'm quite surprised that it's such a a G screw. But if I do it so it's uh, screw it so it's not Arnold Schwarzenegger, and that's not Arnold Schwarzenegger, that's just tight. A bit scary, huh? You know, maybe it doesn't. Say, oh no, I can go a bit tighter. That's not Arnold Schwarzenegger, so I've just moved it a bit, and that's that's now there. Still a bit wow, you know? Really? A lot of forces on here. Yeah, it's got to be rigid. Anyway, stop moaning. Right, so there it says to put this puppy on, which is the elevator. No, it's not the elevator, it's the rudder. <laughs> Hello. So let's squeeze that in there. That's that's kind of nice. Oh, that's nice. That's but butter. Just say I love the hinges on this baby. It is. They are. They are butter. They really are butter. You can just see it there. It's just. Oh, it's fantastic. As you can hear, the rain as well is pelting down. That's it. Oh, that was touching. 
So let's flip her over. Do, 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 do. Now there is two, there is, I think there is. Uh, where are we? We've got a little plastic cover, which is this one. Which comes, it's, uh, if I can move that round. Might need to sort of bush it down a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Here we go. So there's a down there is the the uh, kind of insert to this from the rudder assembly. So if I just push that down, that should fit over the top of it, which it has. Then you have one screw goes into here which attaches the little plate so I am sort of uh, focusing on the wrong thing here this is why I need that extra screen I'm going to sort it out so I can show you what I'm doing and I can see what I'm doing at the same time without looking back right so I don't want to go mad on that because start crushing the uh, crushing the foam and this will keep the the rudder assembly, if, I, if that goes into the hole, which it's not. Now, I've got these little earth magnets, and I like to um, magnetise my uh, screwdrivers, just for that reason, so I can get it out. And let me just have a look in here. Um, did it, it lined up? I think it should have lined up. It just didn't seem like it, unless it was just because I, I wasn't dead centre. There we go, I think that's in. Yes, here we go, I wasn't dead centre, there's a little ridge in there. So once again, I'm just making sure I'm not on a short cinder. You can hear it pulling against the foam. So I'm going to give it like that, I think. It's very hard because I'm very raw, you know, and that's one of my faults for flying as well. Um, because I'm too raw. Now, does it say about the front one? It does, which is our fourth screw, and it's right the way down there. So, you can see anyway. So, I've got to be very, try and get centre, try not to touch the sides. But we like touching the sides. Oh, let's get in there. What's going on? My sort of, uh, I feel like Mission Impossible with this. Better not sing it because YouTube will get the ump with me. Oh, there we go. And that's what happens when you don't touch the side. So that is the end. So on that uh, towel assembly, you saw another pokey thing through. Plastic that fitted in the hood. And that's what I'm screwing into. And you can feel it all coming together now. So I'm not going to go mad on that. Let's just have a quick look at that. That's, that's pretty good. That seems to be solid. Um... I'm not sure about the, it's the same either side, the fit there, as you can see, you've, you've, it's not flush there, you know, um, that is truly down, and that's pretty solid, so that's worked out well, so front heavy this plane, it really is, so, okay, let's, um, let's see, get spin it around so you can actually see it, um, am I, can I come out a bit more, yes I can, yes I can, so there are other sticky bits that we don't need yet. Um, so once you take this hatch out now, what you've got to be careful of um, is me being a bit overzealous again, is that you've got to, when you bring this flap up, you bring it up slowly because there's little pins in here somewhere and it only comes up so far and then you need to pinch it and then pull up. I didn't. I went Rawr! and yes, I broke one of the little pins, but that's okay. Now this is the, this is where you service um the it's one of the ones the wheel so if i just bring it around here should be able to see in there so uh this one is for the wheel for the for the rudder for the turning i believe and this one is the actual rudder at the top so on here as you can see it's quite a distance away so i'm going to do this in here hopefully that will push forward it's got quite a bit so let's get my pliers and turn that around. Now, in fact, that's uh, how much room have I got in there? Because I, I like a bit of thread inside this. So I don't want to. Okay. 
that's pretty good I mean let's uh, spin that round do, 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 do. Let's zoom it in a bit more as well zoom zoom oh, I like to make noises so while it's nice and loose I've got my little looks like a crocodile with one tooth and I believe it's this way I can never get this this right I think that sits in uh, which is this way so that goes on the, the the little tooth goes on the back of the ball and then that goes around it it's really cool so that's on the back of the ball let's get this in shot would help that goes on the back of the uh, nut and then that goes and pops it in I mean it's it's, it's fairly fairly simple um, what I didn't think of was is that that's not really mega straight and I want that straight so let's just turn it around there you go so that's nice and level there happy dappy now um, something I forgot to do so is to center center the servo um, yeah we could do that though, can't we? Okay. If by magic, it happens in seconds. So I had to also take out the uh, servo. Um, sorry, the tray receiver. <laughs> uh, because um, it's plugged into the actual uh, rudder's plugged in. So let's just get that in, some rudder, before I power anything up. Let's put my little cable over there. And um, let's put my little first switch on there. Oh, hello. And what I need to do, I need to get it to neutral position. So I click it again. That is neutral position for the rudder. That's what I wanted. So that looks pretty. It's pretty straight. Where's my Where's my ruler gone? Who stole the ruler? So if I just go along the edge there, I mean, I reckon give or take that's pretty, good. that's pretty good so with that in mind what I'll do now is tighten tighten the screw now this is where I like I mean this is where I like the hex bolt that would that's that's the uh, hex bolt yes um, can you just, you just tighten things tighter so let's just hold the arm and give it a quick nice tighten I'm like, yes, I could put one in here, but I think that should be alright, I think. There you go. So there you go, so we can uh, we can put it on auto. Now what I've got to be careful is that the wheels also should be turning. There you go. Nice little whale. Yeah, looks pretty good to me. Boom. Right, so that's unplugged that, so we know that is in a pretty good neutral position. So that's the rudder done. I can put this cap on, but I'll put it back on afterwards. Um, let's get the um, put my little May cap off. Um, do, 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 do. What are we? What are we doing? Is the they will also be connected, won't they? Yes. Yeah, so. Everything's going to be hanging out of itself at the moment, but it's alright, it's all good. Um, so let's get uh, physical. No, we're not going to get physical. What we're going to do is take out the. Where are they? Where are they? What? They're not ailerons, are they? They're elevators. And, 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 and I always said it's, it's elevators. A, not E. Uh, e is ailerons, he says. It's always good to spell. Uh, right, let's. Um, I mean, that looks like it's in position to me. Uh, no, what am I talking about? Ailerons. Elevator is E. Oh, it's one of them days. Elevator is E, of course. A is ailerons. I knew that. It's all right. You can laugh. This is the craziness. And you should hear so. Whoop, there we go. Right. So let's get these 
central, they are central, lovely jubbly. Let's just close that cap off. Let's bring this round here. Let's make sure that we're in forecast. Forecast. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just judge these. Uh, let's pop these on. Uh, should we loosen it off? Yes, I'm going to loosen the bolt off at the back. So <clears throat> what I'm doing is on the servo in the centre of the body, I'm just loosening off my little Allen bolt. So I can pop these on and then we'll get it straight. So I keep saying so today. I'm so sorry. I've said it so many times. <laughs> Pop goes the weasel. It's such a frightening noise that is. It's like, oh my God, what have I broken? But it's not, I mean, this is one of the good things about the free wing is the ball joints. They are down. There's, it should be down a bit more, but it sits on the actual ball itself. If you didn't know. If you did, then you know what I'm talking about. Really not going a camera situation today, are we? Where are we? It's got a bit lower. Let's move you down. Really not. This is, this is, I envy people that have people that can move the camera. <laughs> I really do. It's just me. But that's good. Let's get it on here. Let's get it back there and snap. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, so let's get these so they're what I call straight. <laughs> now this is this is quite scary when you've got um, when you've got two because because they're joined on the same servo. Um, if one of them's out, there's nothing you can do about it except take it out of the servo again, which is pretty scary if you're in the air. So I'm just, you have to excuse, I am out of shot, I believe, yeah, oh, I'll have a look at the lane. I'm just moving the, uh, the left and right elevator and making sure not to knock them. Then look at the tower section, in fact, it's, yeah. I think that is pretty darn level. So they can be adjusted, you know. Um, I've got to be careful not to knock it, so what I'm going to do is, while it's in that position, I'm just going to tighten the uh, Allen, the Allen key screwdriver. Hex nut, Allen nut, Allen bolt, I don't know what you call them. Or tighten that, lovely, 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 lovely. So, if I had to bring this round, I think because I wanted to bring the camera in quite uh, close. There you go. Now there's my uh, my sitting my whale. Okay. So at the moment, if I put that in auto somewhere, if I can feel for my little <laughs> machine because I can't see. Here we go. Now they are huge throws. That you wouldn't be throwing that high anyway. I mean, if anything, it'd be sort of. Uh, um, it does say in a booklet actually. Bit, oh, it's a bit rubby on one side, isn't it? What does it say? Um, let's have a quick look at the back of that, actually. Because it is quite specific on what it says. Somewhere after centre of gravity. Now, high rate is 14 mil. High rate is 14 mil now. I did, there is a little gizmo that was on Motion RC's website the other day, a uh, film, but it's um, I can't get it. So that's going to go to now. This is I'll just put in my ruler just on the where it's level. If this is a real guesstimate, I need the proper tool for it, but that would be 14 mil. So that's that's high rates. That is high rates. Yeah. High rates, 14 millimetres. 14 millimetres is roughly one, two, three, four, four eighths and a sixteenth. There's this uh, eight, nine sixteenth, roughly, in the old money. So yeah, so that that is it doesn't look a lot, does it? It doesn't look a lot like, oh, high rates, but in the wind, that's good. that's the trouble with me. You see, I think, whoa, no, no, that's got to be there. But I suppose there is 14, and then about there is nine low rates, so, and then that's no rates. 
So that sounds about right. I've just got to get into my head that when you when you um, pick up the <laughs> the tools uh when when you're actual flying an airplane it doesn't take a lot for the elevator to to be affected to to move the plane and that's what i can't get in my head sometimes i think that you know maybe i should have been a stunt pilot you know that you see these uh airplane stunt they're not stunt airplanes i can't remember what they're called now uh, but they throw them all about everywhere else it's brilliant what they do <laughs> and they've got some surfaces for their elevons and elevators and it's just big big movements um, but uh, on this one it needs, needs to be little gentle lovely movements got to get my head around that or I'm never going to fly a plane I'll crash more I know you're probably saying well that's great Chris because then you'll get more planes hey I'm not rich far from it right so we're happy that the towel section is on so we need to get this back in here um, we won't talk about the Mr RC motion but well not motion rc sound where it's called um so now if i if i move that back I'll turn the power off on my little box i've not really gone into my little box have we i think we'll have to on the live we'll have to go through what my little box does so where are we on the camera here <sighs> cameraman oh yes that's just me isn't it i'm the cameraman camera person God, there's no such thing as fireman any or stuff like that by a person or stuff, I don't know. Right, so, <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, that's uh, elevator. So I can put my elevator back in because I'm. Uh, where is the elevator? There it is. Stick it in there. The only thing I don't like about it is it always seems mega, mega tight on these, on these units. So, on the uh, receiver. Um, am I going to need to, to control everything else? I will do with the wings, aren't I? <sighs> yes, yeah. but that's all right. I can use the radio. I'll use the radio because obviously, one, one, no, I've got to stop saying obviously. Once the wings are on, I'm not going to be able to get under here. So let's just screw this back on. So, once again, these are my. Um, we really like hex or allen bolts um they just you know i made a thread in the timber I didn't go mad when i'm tightening it out and look at it, it tightens every time pop um and there's just it's just nicer than screws and just making a screw hole because so many times especially if you're heavy-handed like me is that you'll go one because it's in plastic or it's in foam or whatever you'll go one turn more and you've done the thread uh, just because it's such a, a vast area, chewing area in a screw. I like to call it because it's chewing through whatever. So there you go. Pop. That is in. Now we know that uh, this is correct. So make sure I've got the fat side. Bit of a squeeze in and let go. And that will stay there. Really, really happy with that. So if you do want these, if, I mean you can design yourself, but... If you, you know, if you're not really au fait, uh, you never know that if you really want one, I could always print one off and send it in the post. Because it's just really handy. This plate here has been modified. Uh, I could change it and everything else. So, I think we are ready for the wings, um, I believe, finally. Um, okay, and we're back. Now you're thinking... Hang about, this is a different kind of position. Yes, it's a different kind of camera position. Why? Because the wings are so freaking big, which is great, I love it. So this is uh, I'm trying to go for this uh, angle, and also I've got the other lights on, which are the normal hanger lights. So um, I'm going to be experimenting. I should experiment with the lighting, really should. But the the time now I've got time. Now we've got another three weeks of lockdown. Uh, yes, I've got to work at home as well, but with no one working, there's not an awful lot of work to do. So anyway, back. To so, what have I done to the wings? Well, uh, as you can see at the bottom here, I've pushed the two plastic inserts in. These do just pop out, but the, there's no glue involved. It says about no glue, so they just pop in. Um, let's just see if I can get this one out for you. Um, if I've got any fingernails. There we go. So these are the two insert, big inserts that you get. Um, and self-explanatory, really. I suppose you could glue them, but... No, why? 
So on here I brought also, as you see, we've got a fixed servo that we uh, had fun playing about with the other day. In fact, let me just turn on the, the other lights that I have in here. I'll probably be explode the camera, but it just it's easier then <clears throat> to show you this. Um, all I've done is I've put extensions. Now these, the cables that come out the wings, are they come out about that far. Now, I suppose it's okay if, you know, you're not going to take the wing, but I do want to take the wing on and off. Now the trouble is, the, the holes that they've drilled for the screws are too big for the bolts that I've got. Big problem. So, I, you know, there's no, I, otherwise I would have, I would have uh, made my own thread using the threading tool and then used the bolts, which I've got long bolts. Um, that fit into wings, but not this, they're too big. So I'm gonna to have to get bigger bolts. I have got uh, extra sizes for uh, making um, threads, but we'll do that. That'll be an extra video, um, you know, trying to get bolts at the moment. I don't know if I'll be able to get them because of all this lockdown stuff. So what I've done is the, the uh, LEDs, um, they're that long anyway, they don't need extending. The wires in there are, are pretty long anyway. Um, and then I just extended these, pushed the extensions into the middle in fact, there's not so much light there as there are. I don't know if we can, no, that is zoomed in. Um, and then just tie them up so they're, they're ready to, to sit in here. That's what we're about to attempt to do. Let's get these in. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just a way full of wing. Let's just, this is when you really need two people. You really do, I think. If I just put that over there like so, um, and say, Mr. Pretend person that's not here, can you hold the wing? Yeah, sure. Okay, so I don't know if you can, let me just quickly, let's see if you can see what I'm doing. You can, you can, so that's good. So the LEDs can uh, make sure you get the polarity right. They don't blow up like certain things. Uh, <laughs> they just won't work. Um, it doesn't matter because we're gonna have all static LEDs. They don't need to flash. We've got no flashes. There's no collision control, as we were told. So let's stick that in. Now I haven't got little clips on here, so I think what I might do is stick some blend them on there just to keep that. Oh, it should now. That, that, that should be okay. They should be okay. They should be okay. Right. So if I stick them down in the middle, this is all going to come down in the middle. This is why I wanted that cap. So we've got elevator one, aileron, sorry. And there should be another aileron one round here somewhere. Right, so I've got no spare cables, which is a good thing, which says to me, we're rocking. Now they, it's gonna sort of slide in here, like so. And then I'm just gonna make sure that all these cables are pushed forward down each side of the servo cover. Now you can imagine if I didn't have that servo cover. To, uh, you know, I, th there must be a, probably a different way. Now the only thing that I haven't... Just gonna make sure that these little... Oh, I must have moved that accidentally. So have a look at, there you go, what a beautiful picture, what a beautiful sight. Oh, that was on a box. <laughs> but it, it, I just want to make sure because the, there's like little spikes on those rods on the landing gear. I just going to make sure that they don't spike any light, any cables and they haven't. So that's brilliant, that is brilliant. And you know what's even more brilliant is that I've left the screws on the other side of the table. <laughs> all good. I can do the limbo. Now I really didn't want to put these screws in. I really didn't. But I haven't got a choice at the moment. So as long as I as long as I do them nice and not Arnold Schwarzenegger style because I have got to take this off afterwards. So that's I just got to do it so Seemed a long way to screw, here we go. Right, so as soon as the, uh, the, um, let's do the back, do, do me in. As soon as you see the foam moving, then that's, that's tough enough. And that feels tight as well. You know, it's, uh, this will do. 
Then I'm going to stick a battery in without the propeller. I don't know if I'm going to actually show the propeller on this one because it's a big plane and I fear that I haven't got enough room and something dreadful might happen. <laughs> we'll give it a go though. We we'll give it a go. So you know, I'm not going mega tight, but you know, say me saying, oh, it'll come loose eventually. Would it? If he was quite gentle. I don't know. I don't know. But the nice thing is, is that oh, that has got one in, and okay, I need my magnets from my magnotronic table thing that's not there. Aha, it's here. Hopefully, if I put this magnetron on there, I'm not sure about these because they're coated. Yeah. But if I put it in, oh, there you go. Earth magnets, check them out, they are super, super strong. They really are. Lovely magnets. Stick anything and everything they do. Can you hear that rain? I looked at the camera and I thought, oh, did I forget to push record? <laughs> now, there's a couple of here that that go through the wood that are not tightening tightening so I've got to really look at all this and make sure that uh, you know, I've got things going correctly now I've got a little ditty screw here and I can't remember where it's for and I can't see any more screws we've done the one at the back didn't we yep we've done the two here on the tail just Mustang's just lovely isn't it just absolutely lovely you know, I mean, yes, I'll say that little screw and looks the, the, it's on the other side or the, or the gun. Let me creaking away. I mean, that is a lovely shot, isn't it? I mean, forget about the background. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I just love planes. Do you not love planes? Okay, I think what we can do then is, let me go and get my transmitter because I forgot to bring it in. And we'll chuck a battery in and we'll have a look at the landing gear and the sequencer and see if it's doing all its things. And back. I've got the uh, transmitter, so I've turned the transmitter on. Um, as you can see, it's, it's all a bit crazy lighting in here, so you'll have to excuse it. So I've got my battery out, so let's just whack the battery in and see what uh, what, what goes. Turn that to read me, Carver. Yep. That's it, one, two, three, four, four cell and go. Right, okay, let's see it. Let's see uh, what we've got. Um, I can't remember what's what. What was this one? Oh, this, there we go. Aha. Houston, we have a bit of problem. Oh, let's sequence it on. Hello. Now, that could be a cable fault. It could be something random. It could be that... Uh, that's the flaps. Flaps are good. Yep. Um, what else we got here? we got... Yep. Other ones? Just about to see them, you can. You won't be able to see the rudder. That's working the wheel and the rudder. Throttle's working, obviously. And the elevators are, can you see that in the background? You can just see the tip of the back, they're working. So, we've got a little light here that, does it pop out even more than that? Let's have a quick look at this. It's, uh... No, that's as high as it goes. This is a bit strange. We thought it'd come out a bit more, I don't know. Still nice though. Still, you're going to see that, aren't you? Love this suspension. Oh, look at this. It's just, I'm going to have to take a, the camera off the tripod and have a look at this in a minute. Landing gear is awesome, apart from one that's... Uh, it might be a cable. It could be a cable where um, I've, I'll have to have a look. Let's put this away again. Oh, so, sorry, which one is it, that one? The light's on. That's interesting as well as the light stays on on this from the sequencer. This one's gone off. Now they're all close, they're all next to each other. So there's obviously a issue somewhere. Oh dear. Okay, well I have looked at the video when I quickly popped in and noticed once again we've just gone over probably a 30 minute mark. Um, we have got some problems. Um, while I was off I took the wing off and I directly went into that gear and uh, it works so it does work um, I need to get check the, the cable loom make sure it's all connected properly um, I'm a bit concerned that when this did come up this LED on this side is a lot brighter than this LED and remember saying that when this 
when the all goes down this LED and this LED stays on so that's a bit of a weird one I'm not sure what that's all about uh, maybe they're not meant to be fully on maybe they are meant to flash um, I'm going to play around with the um, sequencer I'll open the uh, speaker port and get into the sequencers um, I know there's a lot of videos out there that do have problems with these sequencers um, <clears throat> on a couple of um, just quickly on a, on a couple of tryouts, uh, when it put it back together, this did come up, um, and then wouldn't go down. This went down. Then they came up. The back wheel wouldn't go down. This went down. Now I'm thinking that these batteries that I've got, these are just storage charged. Um, is it that it's not getting enough power? I, I don't know. Could that have been the problem with the sound system that it wasn't enough power? Well, according to the documents, the sound system doesn't pull that much power, so I don't know. And it works with intolerances because it's still sort of 3, 6, what, well, 12 volts, over 12 volts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to charge this battery up so it's at flight ready status. Then I'm going to put it back in here and try the gear again and see if that works. But I'm, I'm clutching at straws because the this LED is dimmer than this LED. I mean, that's really bright. But we've reached our time. Um, the rain hasn't stopped. Um... We're probably looking at a live show uh, on Wednesday, but uh, once again, there's going to be another build video. But this time is, is to find out exactly what's what. And we'll stick the propeller on. We'll give that a go and try not to kill myself in the process. Still a lovely plane. If it's got some faults, hey, that would be too easy, wouldn't it now? And uh, I wouldn't be able to make videos. I mean, we've got to put the tanks on and all sorts. So until then, be safe. Stay at home if you can. And um, have some fun. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now. See ya.